Minnesota Fine Vikings left tackle Riley Reef turns 32 years young this December. And if you remember this offseason, uh, pretty Ricky Spielman and the Vikings really ratcheted it up and turned the screws uh, to Riley Reef and his contract before the year uh, because, uh, uh, like we said, that he would because he had zero guaranteed money left in the final two years of his deal. And they've done it before uh, with veteran offensive linemen with uh, dubious money left in their contract. Jonathan Sullivan in 2016, Alex Boone in 2017, Riley Reef in 2020. Take the pay cut or get the cut cut, basically what it comes down to. And then the whole talk like, well, you know, we'll just put Brian O'Neill at left tackle. Baloney. Baloney. Didn't buy that for a second, but it still worked. Uh, now, Riley Reef was due to make a $10.9 million base salary, non-guaranteed this season. Uh, but the Vikings gave him and his agent a day to shop around. Market was kind of tepid. So they came back and they took a $5 million pay cut with a couple of playing time incentives all up in there. And... It was pretty amazing, right? And now, a lot of people, myself included, thought that Reef was just going to be the placeholder for Ezra Cleveland, second-round pick. Uh, he played left tackle in high school and college. Uh, what about what about all this guard stuff, huh? Even though it looked pretty good on Sunday. Respect. Boom. But also respect uh, for for the former Iowa Hawkeye, Riley Reef. He has balled out. A, well, he is Riley Reef balled out for sure. He's off to the best start uh, of his career, and he's a big part uh, of the reason why the Vikings offensive line has really started to gel. Like, they've already been amongst the best in the league when it comes to run blocking, but pass blocking, eh, is it slowly starting to come together, especially with Ezra Cleveland in a right guard? Let's go. And for Reef, is 72, excuse me, 76.2 PFF pass blocking grade is 13th in the NFL amongst left tackles, which would be expected. I mean, that's what you get for Riley Reef. He is the ham sandwich for lunch, and not even hot ham and cheese. I'm just talking about ham, bread. That's Riley Reef. He is Iowa. He is the pork tenderloin sandwich. That's what he is. But also. Check this out. Riley Reef is tied with Laramie Tunsil of the Texans, one of the best left tackles in the league, in terms of fewest pressures allowed, five, Cinco, amongst qualified left tackles. So, absolute stonewall on that left side for the Vikings. He's allowed fewer pressures than Andrew Whitworth, Trent Williams, Dwayne Brown, Taron Armstead, Deion Dawkins, everyone. Perhaps you've heard of them. So, it's pretty damn amazing what Riley Reef is being able to do in what should be sort of the start of the decline of his career. Also, oh, he's allowed Cerro, Goose Egg, D'Angelo Russell, sacks this season, as well uh, after giving up a, a Vikings career high six last year. So again, respect. The Hawkeye has come to play. And frankly, if he's going to play like this, I mean, keep Ezra Cleveland at guard. Ezra Cleveland uh, and Brian O'Neill together, the goon squad, the Bash brothers on that side, plus throwing Garrett Bradbury, you have the most athletic side of an offensive line uh, in the NFL currently. Keep it going. All right. So the question is, has Riley Reeve done enough to earn an extension? So far, I, I think you'd have to say yes. I, I mean, the Vikings have been looking for some semblance of stability on that offensive line, and they thought they had it with the other left tackle who's drafting the first round of the 2012 draft with Matt Khalil. Maybe not so much, but uh, Riley Reeve has come in, and the you know, first couple of years uh, of his contract has been sort of like, eh. Are you overpaying for mediocrity? Sure. Could you do better? Certainly. But then this year, after he took the pay cut, maybe the pride got hurt a little bit, and he's like, F you. He's got that chip on his shoulder. I'm going to prove y'all that you were wrong. I'm going to come in and prove to you how Iowa offensive linemen, besides Robert Gallery, do it. Woo! And he's coming and he's absolutely destroyed. And you love to see it. And like we said, he does turn 32 in December. Uh, he's slated to earn a $11.65 million base salary. That is, uh, of course, non guaranteed. Uh, so I think that you could see a similar situation as this year, where the Vikings, if they don't come to terms on some, short, uh, some sort of a short term uh, extension, you know, maybe the Vikings try to turn the screws to him again. You know, maybe Riley Reef threatens a holdout. He'll actually have some uh, some leverage this time around because of the way that he's played. Uh, but the Vikings, bottom line, still have control over him next year. And, and frankly, his name coming up at the trade deadline, if the Vikings had gotten blown out and embarrassed against the Packers, I think it would have been smart for the Vikings to move him because he's playing at a high level. Uh, and there is still a significant need for uh, decent offensive line play, especially at left tackle around the league, especially with so many damn injuries around the league. Also, uh, I think going to the offseason, holding on to him that with that one year left as a potential trade shit does make a lot of sense. Uh, maybe the Vikings can move Riley Reef, get back that second round pick that they gave up in the Yannick trade, sure. Or... They can leverage another pay cut. I mean, it is absolute dirty, but the business is the business. Uh, or, frankly, 
That 11.65 million, it's not unreasonable. Uh, he would be the ninth highest paid left tackle in the NFL uh, if, you inc- if you include Ronnie Stanley next year at that rate. So has he played up to that level? You have to say, yeah. So could it be a spot where the Vikings add one year extension on the back end of that contract, then they fully guarantee him backfill that 2021 season? Uh, I think it's a reasonable compromise. But uh, like we said, a lot of season left, but absolutely big props to Riley Reef. He is owning things on that uh, on the blind side. I'd love to see it. Also, Detroit Lions revenge game coming up. Oh, Everson. Yeah, the guy you saw in practice for three years. That guy, cool. All right, so uh, your thoughts. Riley Reef extension? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post some of the Venmo, but to next time. Skull, production value.